Have you ever yelled, because I said so, at one of your kids because you were so frustrated that they kept asking you why they had to do something and just would not obey? Yeah, I know you have. <laughs> we all have. You're not alone. Kids disobey. It's part of growing up. Um, it's part of growing in Christ. The Bible says we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We None of us measure up. Your kids are not an exception. Now, that doesn't mean, though, as parents, that we want to just throw in the towel and give up. And that's why we're here today. If we haven't met, I'm Kim Sorges with Not Consumed Ministries. Our goal here is to help families grow in faith so they're not consumed by life. That starts with helping your kids learn to obey. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Wouldn't it be amazing if your children wanted to obey? That was my goal. A few years back, I thought, you know, if I could just help my kids understand why they would even want to, if I could help them with the why and the how of obedience, it would go so much better for them. Not just when it comes to obeying me, but ultimately everyone else in their lives, the authorities, their boss someday, and of course, God. Like, how do I help them want to obey? Isn't that the big golden ticket? It is. <laughs> it is definitely the big golden ticket. Wanting to do something is what we need for our kids. Now, before I give you two quick tips about how you can help your child with this, I want to tell you a couple of things. One, this does not apply to children under the age of moral reasoning. For now, we're going to talk about kids generally from age four or so uh, and up. <laughs> So these are the kids who can make sense out of what you're saying and not just have to obey just because. Now, if you're like me, you're going to be tempted to make this all about you. <laughs> um, we want our kids to obey us. And we do. That's true. But it actually starts higher than that. We really want our kids to obey God because when they obey God, then it trickles right on down because, you know, God tells them to obey us, right? <laughs> so we've got to start there. So the first thing we want to do is open up the Bible and tell our kids why. I'll give you three quick ones today. Number one, you should obey because it shows that you believe. First Samuel 15, 22 says um, that it's better to obey than to sacrifice. And this is coming from, you know, Old Testament Israelite times where the people didn't obey God, but instead they would just come and offer a sacrifice. And the Lord says, no, I just want you to obey. And that's one thing that we need to really impart to our kids because if we want to show God that we believe, that we trust him, it doesn't come from sacrifice. It doesn't come from, you know, acting good in certain areas or anything like that. It just comes straight from obedience. Our obedience is how we show God that we believe what he says to be true. Number two, it's how we show God that we love him. We see this in John 14, 15. If you love me, you will obey me. God lays that out. We can't get any more plain about that. The truth is, though, kids don't always know this. They don't actually know that the Bible says that. They need to see that. Third, it's a witness. We want to obey because it's a witness to other people. In Matthew 5, 16, we see that our good works, our obedience, the things that we do on the outside are a light shining for all of the people around us so that they can see not us and not who we are, but God. And that's how we become a witness. So our willingness to obey our teachers, the Sunday school teacher, any adult in authority, our parents, all of those things are a witness to others. If your child wants to be a light for other people, and believe it or not, most of them do, then that is one way that they can do it. And that's a really cool thing to teach them so that they can see my obedience isn't just about what I'm doing right here. It's not just about pleasing mom. It's not just about pleasing God. It really and truly is one way that I can share the gospel with other people. And I get to have a hand in that. That's a really cool thing to learn. All of these things that I just shared with you are in our Bible study called Because I Said So. We take the kids through several different people in the Bible and look at their obedience and see how God blessed them. It's a really cool journey to see God living out the promises that he's given us. Now, another thing that we really want to teach our kids, besides teaching them why they should obey, we want to teach them how they should obey. We often take for granted that they know exactly how we want them to obey, but we've never taught them that. It's important that we take the time to really show them that. And of course, I love doing that through God's word. There's nothing better than getting them in God's word themselves to do that. So in this study, 
one, we teach them four different specific ways that God wants us to obey. And we do that through the stories of four people. First, God wants us to obey without delay. We learn this through the story of Jonah, of course. He doesn't want us to just eventually get to it. We need to obey immediately. The minute that mom or dad acts, the minute that God shows us what he wants us to do. Next up is obey completely. We learn this through the story of Saul. Saul was given some very specific instructions and he didn't do them. Obedience requires that we do all of the steps, all the little things that God is asking us to do and of course that our parents are asking us to do. Next up, God desires that we obey without question. I think Noah is the perfect example of a person who didn't question God, didn't understand all of the things, but just obeyed and it paid off, didn't it? By the way, this is the younger version that I'm showing you now. So this is the part that you would read as parents. And then this is the part that your younger one, even down to four, can just kind of color and listen along because they can definitely learn these concepts even if they can't read. Last but not least, God desires that we obey joyfully. We see this in the story of Moses. Okay, so let's review. We want to teach our kids why they should obey because it shows that you believe, because it shows love, because it is a witness, and because it brings blessing. Then we want to teach them how they should obey without delay, completely, without question, and joyfully. Once our kids understand some of those things, we have to help them keep practicing those things. If you want to dig a little bit deeper on this topic, click below and you can read the post where I detail each of the Bible verses and different things that I have just shared with you. I pray this is a blessing to you and I want to again encourage you that you are not alone. You are not the only parent who has to continually go through this process with your kids. It is a growing process. They are growing in Christ and you are here to walk alongside them. Be encouraged as you walk through this journey with them. We'll see you next time. 